Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to another low poly character tutorial. Now this time we've got part number four where we're going to be working on the feet. It's been a long time coming, I know you've been waiting patiently uh, for this update. It's been a crazy, crazy um, middle of the year for me, so I'm glad to be back making these tutorials for you and I'm sure you're glad to be able to add feet to your character. So um, over the next couple of weeks I want to try and push forward to get this character done at least to a low poly state with all the, you know, the hands and the head and things like that. So let's go in and work on the feet. So I'm going to try and move fairly quickly because I tend to ramble on quite a bit. So we're going to go into edit poly, we're going to select polygon and then we're going to be going in and selecting the base of this area just here. Now you want to make sure that your viewports are sort of configured so that's front view, you've got the left view and they're both sort of focusing on the feet. The front view isn't going to help as massively because you know the feet are angled, they're not facing forward which would have been perfect um, so we can't really use the view too much when it comes to the feet. In this view it's, it's okay uh, but again they're angled um, down and there's some sort of perspective going on here, it's just not quite right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be extruding this down and going about as far as where the shin sort of meets the top of the foot just here. So we're going to go down to there. Now don't forget just like the knee and on the um, elbow a little bit, especially on the knee, that's an area which flexes. So if you were to animate this you need edges there for it to look um, natural so it doesn't sort of have sort of a rigid bend uh, in that joint and that's why we're going to be making sure later down the line that we place some more loops around the um, ankle as well as the elbow as well and the wrist actually but for now we're just sort of bulking out shapes so what we're going to do now we've, we've extruded that and it's the angle sort of off a little bit so I'm just going to be moving that across with the move tool slightly so it just sort of follows the angle of the foot uh, sorry of the shin and the leg a little bit better um, there's a little bit of an angle here which is kind of annoying me. I'm a bit OCD when it comes to edge flow so let's sort of fix that right away. There you go. Um, next what we're going to do is we're going to extrude again but down to the base of the foot. So we're going to go and extrude even further. You can see on the left view here, again it's not a great view to, I mean the orthographic reference. It should be orthographic but it's just angled and it's not really working for me so I'm going to be using it as a, as a rough guide but I'm sort of going to be winging it and looking at my own foot in the process and there's no better way of modeling anything than looking at you know in real life what it looks like the shapes and the angles and things like that okay so next yes it looks a little bit off but I'm going to be extruding let's say these four that are facing forward. So if you go around this you'll notice that there's four different polys. You've got this one here, this one, this one and this one. We're going to leave the back four alone. So we're just selecting the front four. Um, what I'm going to then do is I'm going to extrude that forward. So I'm going to go ahead and extrude and I'm going to go, if you look on the left view, roughly about two thirds of the way down the foot. It looks odd, it's going to look really weird to start with, don't worry, it's all part of the process. Um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going on to Vertex, I'm going to select in this uh, left view, you press Alt and X, don't forget you can see through the actual object, uh, makes it semi-transparent, and it means we can then follow the actual blueprint. I'm going to then pull that down, so I'm clicking and dragging on that sort of whole front area, you'll, you'll notice in the perspective view it's this area here going to pull that down like so. Next what we're going to do is we're going to sort of fan this out just very slightly, not too much. Um, in fact we're not going to fan it out, we're going to straighten it out slightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to be selecting, uh, we can go onto edge here just to make life a little bit easier. We're going to select this outside edge because right now it's, it's a quite um, a sharp angle. So we're going to straighten that out just by pulling that forward slightly. Don't worry too much about being perfect. You don't really have to use the arrows either. I just sort of tend to freely move it by hovering over this guide or this box just here, this square where both of the axes meet. 
and that's going to allow me to move it along there. Be careful not to hover over any of the other ones because what that will mean is it's going to move in a diff it'll look fine here, right? So you say, okay, I've moved it there, that's fine. But when you rotate, you'll find that it's skewed and horribly, horribly deformed. So you need to make sure that you're hovering over the correct area. So I'm just going to straighten that out like so. Okay, you can then even bring these in slightly if you want to just sort of shape and uh, shape this out so the gaps between the edges are a little bit more equal I guess I'm just gonna do that like so okay now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude this forward so I'm gonna be extruding this again roughly to around about if you look in here to where the toes end like so now I'm going to then go down in height in exactly the same way, go onto vertex, click and drag over all the top verts there and then pull them down. You're not going to follow that left view exactly just like that because the foot kind of angles down a little bit. That doesn't work. We can't do that because we're looking in a completely flat orthographic view. So I'm going to pull that up slightly to be just so it starts to straighten up a little bit. The next thing is the actual angles here because at the front of the foot, it's looking very thin. So we're just going to go ahead, select the entire end of the foot from the perspective view or from the left view. We're going to go on to scale and we're going to scale this out a little bit like so. So not too much. We don't have to look like Donald Duck's feet. We're just going to look, uh, go a little bit out like that. The next thing we're going to do is worry about the shape a little bit because it's sort of equal. The one thing we know with the foot is that um, the toes normally the largest <laughs> um, on the foot and then obviously all the other toes they get smaller and smaller and smaller so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna maybe vert vert C might be the best one I'm just gonna bring this forward slightly on the inside in fact select them both I'm gonna bring them forward uh, bring that a little bit further forward as well and then these I can just sort of push back a little bit like so so you see what I'm trying to do here I'm just trying to get the angle so you've got the toe and then everything else just starts to come away push back further and further where you get the little little toe as well so that's a little bit better now I do realize that we only have four polys here meaning we could only have four toes but we're gonna address that later there's quite an easy way we can do that um, but for now we're just gonna work with the basic shapes so that's okay that's not looking too bad um, maybe just select the middle of the foot as well and just scale that sideways a little bit too because it was looking a little bit thin. Another thing, when you rotate around the foot, it's looking a little bit light on the back of the foot. So we're just going to select, uh, go to edge, we're going to select this edge just here. The one which comes at the corner from the front of the foot and follows down uh, from the, the side of the shin, side of the leg down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that across, add a bit more weight to the side of the foot just there and the bit on the inside too. I'm not going to go too thick because we don't want it to look off. In fact, let's just undo that. What we're going to do is go to vertex and we're going to do it from the base. We don't want to do it from the top because that makes it look a bit odd, I've just realized. So we're just going to go on vertice and pull that out. If you look on the base, what you're literally doing is just rounding that area off again because before those edges, those verts are pulled in quite a bit. So we're just pulling those out slightly just to round that off. Like so. Okay, so that's looking okay, not too bad. Um, what we can now do is we can add in an extra edge. So we're gonna cut an edge in all the way across here. There are two ways to do it. We're gonna go into um, the graphite modeling tool, tools. Now I realize not everybody has this, so we're just gonna go in and do both ways. We're gonna do it with Swift Loop. So you go to edit, Swift Loop, and then you can hover over the model and you can click roughly about middle if you look at the front here, we're going to go to roughly the middle for now. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're going to go on the scale tool. Now, while all of those verts are still selected, if you're on edge, just make sure all of those edges are selected. Make sure you haven't got anything else selected. It's very important. And then we're going to go and select, um, go on the scale tool. And we're going to hover over the Z axes. Now, it doesn't really matter what color yours is, depending on if you've got a weird option set or, or whatever um, your nodes might be different colored 
um, to me, depending on your orientation of your, your of your viewport and things like that. So what we're going to do is go onto the uh, the Z axis or the one that's facing up, the one that's vertical. We're going to click on that node and we're going to move the mouse down. And what you can see is we're actually compressing the space between all of those verts. If I was to go the opposite way, we'd be increasing the space. So if we keep going, you see what happens? You're increasing the space between the verts. But I'm going to keep going down and that eventually will flatten all those out. So it's quite a neat trick to flatten out a bent surface or a bent set of edges or verts. So that's sort of set. I'm just going to show you quickly and do that. And I'm going to show you how to do it with edge. Um, so we go into edge selection, we're going to select one of these edges just here, we're going to go onto ring, so that rings all of the selection, again make sure nothing extra is highlighted, only those vertical edges going around the foot, we're going to go down to connect and just leave it on default and it should do it bang in the middle anyway, and then after this the process, process is exactly the same, you're just going to go onto the top of this scale tool, the vertical axis just here and we're going to scale down. It's important you don't hover over the middle because then you're going to be scaling in all axes or in one of the other axes as well. So none of these borders, just on that node going down and you're just going to scale down, 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 just keep moving the mouse down and then you're going to be moving that entire edge down with the move tool like that. Okay, now it looks a little bit weird, right? I give you that. Um, so what we're going to do is, actually I'm going to backtrack a little bit on what I did before. We want the bottom of the feet to be coming in slightly, we want it to be sort of angled like this. We want it to sort of be rounded slightly. So what I'm going to do to start with, I'm going to go on scale. I'm going to scale from the middle on this edge just to kind of round that off like so. And maybe bring it out from the side just slightly, not too much. See that works a little bit better. but the edits that I made earlier especially on this right side isn't really working too well and this is one of the things with 3D modeling you know you'll find that there are issues you try and do something you make another change and what you did before kind of ruins it <laughs> um, so we're gonna go back and we're just gonna be pulling this in because as you can see it's just sort of tapering off on the outside there so we're gonna be pulling that in like so even on the outside just very slightly just push that in Just to kind of make the inside look a little bit cleaner, I'm just going to be pulling in the inside here and doing that just to kind of add a bit better edge flow. Even these, we don't need these to be round anymore. So we're just going to pull those back and we're going to straighten them off. So as you can see, the edge kind of flows down the bottom of the foot now a lot better than it did before because we had that kind of awkward looking rounded uh, area. Now that's a lot cleaner, a lot better and the edge flow is just much, much better. So at this stage, we're pretty much done uh, with the foot. Maybe just a few little tweaks in the shape. So just sort of pulling that across very slightly. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So what we need to do is just add a smoothing group. So we know that from the tutorials before we set uh, the smoothing groups as 32. So in polygon, if you scroll down, number 32 is the leg. So obviously we need to set the foot as number 32 as well. So what you can do as a quick way of doing this is select the entire leg or just select up half halfway up the leg, including the foot. We're going to go on to clear all just to make sure that there are no other smoothing groups set within this space just there. And we're going to hit number 32. So now they're all set to number 32. I can go up. I can uh, deselect actually edit poly completely. Go on to symmetry press F4 and then there you have very basic feet but they are feet nonetheless. Um, you can kind of see the shaping and that's why we need this angle because even if you look on your foot that is the angle. They're not flat, they don't go all the way across flat. So look at what you're making. Never make an assumption. Never ever make an assumption. Um, now what I could have done is possibly fanned out the end a little bit more just to kind of exaggerate um, the end of the foot a little bit but it's okay we'll, we'll sort of work on fixing that later I want to go over some troubleshooting issues that you might face so uh, for instance if you've created the foot and the angle slightly off so let me just move it in so you've done everything you think it looks great uh, you think it looks fine in the perspective view in all views with just one foot okay that's all good and then you go into symmetry and it looks awkward because <laughs> because his feet are angled in slightly. So 
The way to fix that, like I've just shown you on how to ruin it, is pretty much the reverse of that. You literally just select the entire foot, make sure you've got only the vert selected on the foot, and you're going to be rotating um, this carefully. So we're going to be rotating that across. Again, when you rotate, it's going to skew um, where the foot attaches onto the leg. So you just need to make sure you move that across again and just keep checking all of the axes. Make sure, rotate in that perspective view to make sure it's essentially looking as it should okay so that's better it's angling out now and then if we come out of edit poly go into our symmetry that looks a lot better i could probably do with angling that out a little bit more as well um, but i'm pretty happy with that um, at this stage so hopefully you guys have enjoyed that tutorial um, we're going to be going in and creating toes and other things like that but like i said for now if you're making shoes and things like that this would be perfect as a base and you can obviously expand on that but if you're making toes this is a very simplified method of getting just the overall shape and we're going to be working on toes a little bit later um, so do not worry I think the next thing is going to be hands uh, or the head um, so yeah stay tuned for that video guys if you haven't already subscribed and you're new to the channel please do subscribe and if you enjoy this video then please do hit that like button as well I think it's a thumbs up button now um, but either way Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you all next time.